West versus x -Sax, and West takes it 2-1. Uh, but so winner will play West and loser semis. That's right, Little Mac overcoming Yingling. Not a, not a fight we see too often. All right. But right now we have, of course, you know, YMCA versus Paper. Paper advancing over rival DSS. And from what YMCA was telling me, that this is actually a pretty tough matchup for for DK. I would imagine because DK is such a big hitbox that he's easily combo food. You know. Yeah, and you know, as you can see, like Paper does a good job of just sort of keeping YMCA in the air and just keeping him in shield. And there's a lot of moves that that uh, Game and Watch has. Such as like the, the back air, Dude, the up the the break. Yeah, and it's just tools that YMCA really doesn't have an answer for. And apparently, the the neutral B is just safe on shield. <laughs> so there's just a lot of unanswered tools uh, that YMCA has to deal with. Right. But he did say if uh, you know he does end up playing paper, that he might go Bowser. So let's see what happens in game two. But for right now, you know YMCA hasn't lost his first stock this game. He's got a lot of rage. I mean, I guess the one thing that's in YMCA's favor is that he's not dying for a while. Well, Paper on the other hand, literally being a paperweight character, he can die super early. Right, 173%, and there, not even enough to take it. This is going to be another up throw. Uh, but even then, that's nowhere close to killing. I feel like Game Watch doesn't really have any kill throws. Meanwhile, on the platforms, DK has Ding Dong. Yeah, but it does, you know, it, those percents, um, he does have a window of percent that he has to do it at. But you don't need a window of percent to land a neutral B. It just straight up punch that paper out of here. Oh, my God. Yet again, 192 is just so much damage for YMCA. And he's still living over 200%. Finally, that fair will take it. But wow, like, the matchup is definitely not entirely bad for DK. Like, yeah, you're going to be taking a lot of damage, but you're not dying. I mean, I, I don't. I won't be surprised if YMCA is living those like those super high percents every single spot. As long as you don't get like down aired off stage. Down aired off stage from nine. I've seen I've seen people go for those RNG kills. Just like that, you know, a bunch of shield pressure, but the ejection button is gonna allow Paper to escape safely. Yeah. I mean, it's the oh, let me let me win neutral button. Oop. Another neutral B? That's two for two. I mean, if he just wants to run into it, like, YMCA will take those stocks to the bank. Good, good rapid jab. Going to put YMCA off stage again. This forward air is probably what's going to clutch it out for paper. Right. Oh. I feel like he saved him there, too, because I feel like YMCA did not have enough momentum to make it back the first time. I don't know. It's really tough. He was flying pretty quickly towards that, that uh, the ledge. With the way that magnet hands have been nerfed a little bit in this game. Uh, oh, you can see him. Tell. Yeah. Paper wanted that spot dodge read, but here we go. The ding dong is not quite enough because Paper can just ejection button out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure the window for for uh, game watch is a lot smaller just because of the ejection button. But I mean, it doesn't matter when game watch is at like 83. This is kill percent. Yeah, oh, this is, sure. yeah, this is a kill percent for Game & Watch. Like a back air off stage, like we'll do it. I feel like even a back throw could do it, depending on like the eye. But yet again, Game & Watch now finally getting that edge guard, killing DK at 180. Yeah, reaching for those up airs. Must not be in the window percent anymore. Oh, okay, maybe he is. Oh, I like the idea. And oh, he is three for three with those Kong punches. And fortunately, this is going to be a best of three. I would love to see five games between these two players. I mean, this is just a matchup you don't get to see too often. Right. So just for matchup knowledge and exposure. I mean, it's hard to see high-level DK and Game & Watch players. Yeah. Which is why, you know, I kind of wish it was a game best of five. But this is a best of three, so Paper needs to clutch out two more games if he wants to advance. And I'm wondering if we're going to see a character switch from YMCA. You know, he was saying that Bowser's the pick. Apparently, Bowser I crashes mean, all over the paper, the 2D character. I mean, his DK has been doing fine so far. I don't see why he wouldn't keep playing it. He's three, three on punches. OK. All right. 
swear to God, if we have a, a DK versus Little Mac uh, semis, and then it's just you have a punch meter in the corner for both characters. <laughs> I feel like that's not a tool you would use against Little Mac, though. I mean, it depends. If Little Mac comes charging in, no, you know, he's going to, like, dash attack or dash grab or something, you know, might be a useful option. Okay, well, forward air has YMCA offstage. Now we're going to see the rinse and repeat, continuing to use the up B and just the invulnerability to keep YMCA offstage. This is probably the uh, difficulty that YMCA was mentioning earlier. All right. Oh, I mean, but he missed! Oh my god, but he, I think he easily ate like 60% off of that one move. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Is that the pseudo percent? Oh, oh. no, get me out of here! Yep. Okay, back to connects now. YMCA has this opportunity for a let's try, I think he's looking for the punch. Yeah. I think he's looking for it right at this point. Oh, yep, he there was. I feel like he wanted Paper to uh, back air there, but... Down, oh my god. Down air almost didn't kill there. That's insane. Good, uh, good news for Paper that it did. All right. But can Paper make the most of this stock right now? Man, at this point, like, Paper can actually just kind of sit back, wait for YMCA to approach, throw out all the breakfast items. And then if uh, YMCA gets a little bit too close, guess what? I'm out of here. Oh, but the up B does connect. That super armor is so crucial. And then because it like moves him with him, like he brought him all the way to the edge of the stage before he got launched out. Wow. That was like 30%. <laughs> and yet again, that evac compulse. Slowly approaching with breakfast. Oh no, there's the down smash to the up smash and yeah. Well, YMCA looking to have a little bit more trouble here in game two. He does land it up air. 57%, you know, it doesn't really put paper in danger of kill just yet. Probably needs. I wonder if he's in the, the percent for the, the ding dong now, but at this point, probably won't connect because he'll just up be out of it. Yeah, and just rinse and repeat, just keep up being. Give YMCA all in so much trouble. Oh no, he has deed. Paper, what are you doing? That's the SD that YMCA needed, you know, bringing the stock even, 60, 70%. Uh, like we said, as long as, as long as YMCA can uh, avoid getting grounded. Um, Just avoid down smash and avoid the back air off stage and he's good. Oh my god, that was good on paper not to jump there because that would have been the game. Right, and that's like the YMCA. Oh! Ejection oh. button, get him out of here. And I think it even pushed like YMCA to the side a little bit with the win box. Right. So, oh, that up B being so clutch for paper. Now you just see YMCA swinging. He just needs one move to connect at this point. Right. And there connect for paper. Now we see the, the juggle game continue. I mean, you just see Paper trying to hit him with anything at this point. Oh, he's got the wind-up punch. Oh, and it with the back throw. Not enough. Another wind-up punch. This man is crazy. He's going to do it right now. Oh, my God. He's just throwing out all these back airs. You know, he, he knows that he'll kill him with one lance. And oh, my God. Paper trying to end it all with that down air. But yet again, he's looking for the punch. He's looking for it. Doesn't find it. And he gets hit with the bomb. And that's going to be game. All right. Score bringing. Bringing the score to 1 1. Wow, what a nail biter. I mean, any of those back airs connected from YMCA, you know, had the wind up punch. He was telegraphing that, you know, he really wanted to right. use it. So I, that, feel I like, think that didn't work in his favor. All right. I feel like YMCA felt pressure to take the kill at that point. You know, if he had hung back, just wait for Paper to push a button instead of, like, trying to fish for that uh, Kong punch, he probably would have been able to find Honestly, it eventually. I, I say, like, just wind up the punch and then just keep the threat there. Right. Like, don't even use it, but just, you know, you're, you're, you're steaming at that point. Paper knows that he's already gotten hit by it three times. Just having the wind up punch there is enough to make your opponent play different. Right. And Makes the way scared. that, yeah, in the way that Paper was playing is that he wasn't approaching. Right. So that's something that YMCA needs to take into account. Okay, well, starting off with a big up B. But unfortunately, that's going to get punished with a throw it in an air, and it, he ate 43% off of that one up B. Okay, another wind up. Yeah. I wonder why 
why he's opting for Yoshi's Island. Maybe it's a comfort pick. Yet again, I like to I like to get up attack there. You know, he was gonna read the roll option, but Paper not giving it to him and, and taking neutral in return. Now another dash attack. Oh no, is this gonna be the pseudo Kong? But nope, get me out of here. I'm safe button. Yep. I wonder if YMCA is ever gonna try try to go for a mix up off of that because he he hasn't hit it the entire set, you know. So. Oh my god, I saw the down A, B, and I was like, okay, that's the up smash afterwards. But I feel like the tilt on the platforms, on the bottom platforms, basically made it so that paper would send at an angle, and he's four, he's, he's on four he's, punches. He threw, yeah. a lot of, he threw a lot of those punches, whiff punches in the, in the previous game. Right. So he has landed four of them. That's still quite impressive. Quick <laughs> right. back air, and wow, that up B will kill. I mean, and okay, that actually explains why Paper went to the stage. You know, we were, like we were saying that YMCA has been living to like incredible percents. Close blast zones here is gonna make short work of that. All right, but this was uh, YMCA's counterpick. Oh, you're right, it was YMCA's counterpick. Maybe YMCA just wants a quick like, I want to kill you. Let me back throw you off stage option. We did see him going trying to use the platform to utilize like the pseudo uh, ding dong. But at this point, I don't. I don't really no, I would just go for back air or back throw. Just get paper off stage and try and set up a ledge trap. But a couple up airs landing onto YMCA, really keeping him in the stage. Now, no, blast no. zones almost like, working I, against paper. I mean, I know blast zones are small, but they're not that small. I don't know. I mean, with the the combination oh. of small blast zones, rage, and a very light character, you never know what's gonna happen. Oh, two? No, nope, not enough. Wrong number. Let's see up there and looking for the air. Oh, and no nice. way! What? Five. Five. Five ding dong punches. Ah, ah, ah. Five ding dong punches, and that killed Paper. What percent was he at? He was at, he was at like 50 or 60. I think he was at 50. He was